And first now report tonight, the broad intent of any educational reform is premised on the assumption that it is capable of improving educational process and practices, hence the need for evaluation of the system's process in order to determine the efficiency and effectiveness of resource allocation. Education is capital intensive in terms of human, financial and material resources. Its provision and management determine the quality and functionality of the system. On this report, our reporter Damien Lola Jensen takes us through the impact of colleges of education in promoting educational standard in Nigeria. Educational reform is referred to as the process of improving or changing the education system to make it more effective, efficient and equitable. And the goal of education reform is to enhance students' learning outcomes, improve teachers' quality, and increase access to education for all. Education reform simply means the modesting and re-engineering of education uh, programs to meet the uh, millennium, millennium standard, 21st century standard. And in that reform is what actually comes from the government. It is the government that have educational policy that those in the sector of education we have to implement. However, those in the educational sector can also propose to the government which has to be considered and scrutinized, pick out those ones that are good for development of education. Uh, this has to do with uh, the changes that is taking place in educational uh, policies or quarters. That is the development that takes place year in, year out. Meanwhile, education reforms can be initiated by government, schools, or other organizations, and can involve a range of stakeholders, including teachers, students, parents, and community members. The educational qualification majorly starts from Nigeria grade two, from grade two to NC, from NC to degree. So college of education or colleges of education is where the graduates the NC holders, who are in most cases regarded as the middle cadre teachers. From there, they can grow. The quality of education, they are majorly to develop the interest of the students, especially in building their uh, educational potential, so that they can develop them to be what they want to be in future. You know, some of these students, there yeah, are different areas where they study. We have the science, the uh, arts class, the business. All this has to do with interest. Similarly, colleges of education play a significant role in promoting standard education and training high quality teachers to be able to advise students on what to choose by promoting excellence and improving in their field of study. It depends on every policy or reform in education or all programs must come with their own desire to be achieved. That is the purpose of creating the reform or the purpose of setting the policy must be there. The implementation is the problem. Therefore, for education reform, helping the students in terms of education depends on the implementation of that policy. For instance, in Nigeria now, the policy of uh, 6334, which is standard of education, that is six years in the primary school, three years in the GS123, three years in SS123, and four years in the vet, is a program set for some time. However, that policy was not adequately maintained or is not adequately maintained in the process where students are supposed to move after six years in the secondary school to university. In most cases, they jump the protocol. You see some 14 years old child now in university as that person meets the standard. So, so the reform comes with uh, the the, the, the achievement they want it to bring to the students and for, this, for it to be so maintained depend on the follow-up by the policy makers. The reforms have a lot of positive impacts 
in the life of students so that to improve their study, especially their areas of interest. You know, most of these students, they have at the back of their mind what they want to become in the future. So the reforms have to change their attitudes and they should be able to know what it has in the future for them. What is the future for this student? Additionally, education reform helps in improving curriculum relevance and alignment with industry needs, enhances teaching methods and materials to better engage students, increasing access to quality education, especially for disadvantaged groups, providing more flexible learning pathways and pacing options, Encouraging personalized learning and student-centered approaches. Damlela Johnson reports for Kaftan Television News.